There is a question circulating around sports. Why did Brandon Miller play last night? Yesterday, Miller's name was mentioned in police testimony for allegedly bringing a gun to former teammate Darius Miles. That gun was later used in the murder of a 23-year-old woman last month. If this is true, Brandon Miller should be nowhere near the Crimson Tide basketball program, especially when... Now, Miles has been charged with capital murder along with his friend, Michael Davis. Miller, who's a projected NBA lottery pick, has not been charged with a crime. Darius Miles was a member of the Alabama basketball team. As he was arrested and taken into custody, he proclaimed his innocence. Then there was head coach Nate Oates with incredibly tone-deaf comments. Can't control everything anybody does. Outside of practice, nobody knew that was going to happen. College kids are out. Brandon hasn't been in any type of trouble, nor is he in any trouble, type of trouble on this case. Like, no wrong spot at the wrong time. Claiming someone allegedly involved is not in trouble is odd. As much as it is shocking, framing this wrong place, wrong time is eye-rolling stupidity. Nate Oates was very callous and dismissive in his initial press conference. Oates would walk back his comments. Longtime sports media members were none too pleased with his responses. Then we would learn. Oates reached out to Baltimore Ravens Hall of Famer Ray Lewis, who was allegedly involved in an unsolved double murder case. You heard that correctly. The head coach of a college basketball team whose players were allegedly directly involved in a tragedy consulted Ray Lewis on how to handle this. Family members and friends of the slain stand firm of Lewis's guilt. The linebacker would plead guilty to obstruction of justice, a misdemeanor, and the murder charges were dropped. He received one year of probation. In Miller's case, a witness testified. Miles and Michael Lynn Davis were in Miller's car shortly before the January 15th shooting death of 23-year-old Jamea Harris of Birmingham. Brandon Miller should not be on this, this basketball team right now. Per the investigators, they believe the gun belonged to Miles and that Davis fired the shot that killed Harris. Brandon Culpepper of the Tuscaloosa Violent Crimes Unit testified that Miles gave Davis the gun while the two were in the back seat of Miller's car. According to Culpepper, Miles texted Miller and Miller brought Miles' gun to the scene. We'll applaud Brandon Miller, the basketball player, from the standpoint that to be to endure what he was enduring last night and to go out there as a freshman and to put on that show on the road absolutely showed a level of mental toughness that I believe NBA scouts, people on the next level will look at. Then you have Stephen A. Smith praising Miller for his performance. Meanwhile, the deceased leaves behind a five-year-old child. Jamea was 23 years young. Culpepper also testified that Miller's Dodge Charger was struck by two bullets. He also testified that another Alabama basketball player, Jaden Bradley, was also at the scene in his car as well. After the shooting, Miller and Bradley's vehicles blocked in the one Harris was in, according to the testimony, but it was not clear if that was intentional. Tuscaloosa attorney Jim Standridge later wrote in a statement, Brandon Miller never touched the gun was not involved in its exchange to Mr. Davis in any way, and never knew that illegal activity involving the gun would occur. To Carla Cotton, Jamea Harris's mother wrote on Facebook, took my baby's life because she wouldn't talk to him. She was a humble soul, and she was always a happy soul, said her first cousin, Kennedy Henderson. We literally grew up together. Asked by AL.com why Miller was not charged, Tuscaloosa Chief Deputy DA Paula Whitley said, that's not a question I can answer. There's nothing we could charge him with, according to the law, she said. Legal experts told AL.com the decision whether or not to charge Miller comes down to knowledge and intent. Wrote longtime College Hoops reporter Jeff Goodman, these are shocking details to a high-profile case that will remain with Alabama basketball for the rest of the season and beyond. Alabama has the best basketball team in the country, and Miller is a player with the talent level of an NBA lottery pick. Those things do not matter one bit when weighed against the life of Harris, but they are relevant right now in every 
other way possible for the University of Alabama and Alabama coach Nate Oates. Based on the testimony of law enforcement, Miller and Bradley, of course, can't play for Alabama anymore. It all reeks of shame and disgrace. At some point, playing basketball for Alabama is no longer a privilege for those who make poor choices in life. The proximity of Miller and Bradley to the shooting death of Harris is well beyond that point. And if Alabama's Oates and Athletics Director Greg Byrne knew about these new details of the shooting and allowed Miller and Bradley to remain on the team anyway, then perhaps more scrutiny should be applied to them too.